good morning students i hope you must have gone through yesterday's lecture which was in relation to management as an art let us continue with another topic that is management as a science for knowing for proving management as a science let us go through the features of science here you are able to see the first feature of science is that systematized body of knowledge if you remember the feature of art art is also a art is also a mixture or a combination of some theoretical knowledge in the same way science is also having some knowledge which shows us the cause and effect relationship students you remember that some newton's law you have studied in your earlier classes some archimedes principles you have studied in your earlier classes what they were proving they were proving that if there is an effect behind that effect there is a cause in the same way if you will draw something in the air it will definitely come to the earth why due to law of gravity second one principle is that scientific principles are based on experimentations it is not like that ki there was a universe and from the start of universe some scientific principles were there no scientific principles were experimented and then developed with a gap of time now day by day different scientific principles are being tested and these are being developed the third one feature is scientific principles have universal validity yes either you apply these principle or me applies these principles or these principles are applied in india as well as these principles are applied in abroad yes they are having universal validity always they will show the same results the reason being these principles are applied on the physical resources let us see these pen features applying on the management as you are able to see that management is also a systematized body of knowledge it has own theories and principles that have been developed over a period of time which i will teach you in my next chapter and these principles are also evolved with due experiments and observations the like the principle of sciences these were not evolved in universe with the start of universe these were developed with the evolution of universe and repeated experimentations and observations now if i say management principles are universally applicable yes these are universally applicable but these principles will always not show the same results as they are being applied on the human beings every human being reacts differently in different situations the as you know the behavior of human being can't be accurately predicted sometime if you are in a good mood i scold you that you does it feel regarding it if you are not in a better mood and then i scold you then you feel bitterly very bitter 
so management based upon these comparisons with management as sciences i can conclude manage to some extent management can be called a science but remember it is not a exact science like physics chemistry yes it is a science like social sciences why again and again i am speaking to you it is a inexact science because these principles or management practices are to be applied on physical as well as human resources so human resources does not permit it to be a exact science that's why the management is an exact science and these management is also having some principles which can be modified according to situations this you can deeply understand when we will study in detail about the principles of management and as the principle of sciences are developed over a period of time management principles are so are also developed over a of time so let us conclude do management is an art yes management is an art but i can't conclude management is a science but these are not mutually exclusive these are complement to each other i can't say that if i have to manage something i i have an art to manage the things i will do it no if for managing and business enterprise for managing any activity i need management as an art and management as a science thank you